Well, welcome everybody to the kitchen. And I have to say, this is a special request today from Todd Thomas up there in Preston, Idaho, my old hometown. So, Todd, here's your yakisoba. And I would do Japanese any day of the week if I just had to go into the Sage Market here in town. If you've never been in there, oh my gosh, they are the most lovely people in there. Oh, I just love them. I go in, I'm like, oh, I need yakisoba and the and the the older Japanese lady, she always says, oh, you need to come, come here, do this, get this, get this. I love it, love it. Kindest people ever. So anyway, I have my carrots here. This is just a little zester, and it peels and zests all at once. It's the greatest thing. Maybe, you know, with Christmas around the corner, if you want one, you can find them on Amazon and ask Santa Claus if he'll bring you one. And so it's just kind of an easy way to actually zest up a carrot or any style of root vegetable to go in any dish that you're making. It's kind of fun. So we'll get those all done just like that, finish those off, and then we'll add these to the rest of the ingredients that I'm gonna put into the yakisoba. So I have the julienne peeled, basically carrot. I have green onions here. I also have some mushrooms, some cabbage, and onions that we're gonna get going. While the chicken is over here, this is boneless chicken thighs I've just cut up and add it into there, letting those cook. I wanna show you how to make the sauce. It's so easy to make for this. You can buy it if you want to, but all it is is ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, little soy sauce, and oyster sauce mixed together. And once you have that all done, we'll set this aside and we'll get that into there uh, at the very end. Now I have some yakisoba soba or Japanese stir fry noodles right here. I got it Sage Market. So guys, when we come back, I'll show you how to finish it up and it's gonna be so good. Already off to a good start. Yeah. We are. Okay, thank you. That's why I don't race. <laughs> I just, if I run, it's for fun or something's chasing well, me. You know, if yeah. you're racing like a spider. back <laughs> to the kitchen, it would be Ron Bird chasing you. I'm That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish this up here. So here's the sauce that we made earlier with the oyster sauce, the Worcestershire soy sauce, ketchup, Oh, I can't remember if I got everything in there, but I'm going to add that to our stir fry now. Stir that all together so it coats it up nicely. And it's done. I've added the noodles in here. The noodles are there at the market, too. They will be happy to help you. I just really enjoy them. I've had several of you send me messages on Instagram since the first segment. Sage, uh, uh, Sage Market is here in Salt Lake City, folks. It's on about Main Street and 1400 South, and they are the sweetest, kindest. Japanese in general are just so kind. All right, let's put these right into there. I'm gonna serve that up on this big old plate. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and it smells heavenly, everybody. It just smells amazing. I'm gonna have to grab my my clean dish towel back here and wipe off that plate because that just slopped on there and I can't have that. And there's that there. And then just kind of wipe the plate off so it's not all messy in that. And to finish it off, I'm using, this is just dried seaweed. I got this there as well. I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top and then top it off with just some pickled ginger so that it's beautiful and tasty and, oh, Oh, so delicious. And there you have it, folks. An amazing yakisoba, which is so easy to make. It's a perfect thing. You can switch out ingredients, you know, vegetables, meat, whatever you want to do. Head on over to KUTV.com, grab the recipe, or to cookingwithchefbrian.com. And if you happen to go into Sage Market, you tell them Chef Brian said hello. Good plan. It's so sweet if you haven't no, ever been there, guys. I haven't. So if you say that, do you get your 50% off? Discount. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Maybe one person. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. All right.